Well, happy Monday and February, February the 1st, and we closed out January very mild, 12th warmest January on record, no sub-zero nights, which has only happened twice before otherwise, 1990 and 2006, and of course, below normal snowfall, not by as much as maybe you think, but several inches below the averages, and looking at winter to date, because meteorologically, we are two-thirds of the way done, 62 of the 90 days, we count just uh, December, January, February, for statistical keeping. And uh, so far, of course, very mild as well. 15th warmest winter on record out of 148 years. So we're in the top 10 for winters uh, on record. And what's also remarkable, did a little count here, most of our days this winter of the 62 days have been above freezing. It's not the Minnesota I know. Of course, for the season, uh, below normal snowfall as well. When we look at the December 1st, we did have snow in October and November, and we are seeing shorter cold snaps. They're less severe. Uh, we used to see 20s below zero on average in the winter. Now it's more like teens below zero for our coldest one. Look at all the places that have seen more snow than us. Des Moines, Omaha, New York is notable. Now this is adding today's snowfall. They're going to get a lot. All those places more than us. And regionally, you can kind of see the track we've been seeing sort of a northerly track with some snowfall, but then this very distinct southern track, Omaha, Des Moines to Milwaukee, sometimes Chicago getting more snow than us. Uh, so we've been definitely seeing kind of a, a split track here over the season so far. It's uh, really snowing though in the new northeast here, New York up through Boston getting tons of snow today, a little bit of a dry slot uh, developing around the Philadelphia area, so probably not as much there, but still Half foot of snow is very respectable for them, uh, but the bulk of those uh, impressive snowfall totals are going to be New York up through Connecticut uh, into Maine and of course uh, Boston as well. In fact, the bullseye looks to be right around New York City into the eastern part of upstate New York where some places will see over a foot of snow. Some of the models even dumping 15 to 20 inches for some spots. So there's that big system on the northeast. We're kind of in between. You can see kind of a ridge here developing off to the west. This is our weather for the next several days. Continued mild, well above the average, which is in the mid 20s. Today, probably near 30, but into the 30s. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, above freezing, maybe even a couple days. So this is temperatures uh, change from normal or anomalies for this week, above normal for the central part of the country. But look at the change coming, finally. Next week, well below normal here across the central part of the country, extending to the east. Finally, some real cold, and that, can translate into finally maybe some snow around the area uh, if we can push those tracks and time everything out just right. Looks like our next chance of snow comes Thursday. This was looking like a bigger storm last week. Now not as impressive, but still the hope for some fresh snow Thursday. And then behind that, we get cold, high pressure settling in. Big blast of uh, cold air, in fact. So right now, Thursday snow looking like anywhere from maybe a couple of inches to as much as four or five inches of snow. We'll see what happens. But the big story is also the cold. Look at this split. I want you to pay attention to late in the week. Finally, that cold is moving from Siberia, a little closer to our side of the hemisphere. And then there is a distinctive split here as we head into uh, the middle of the week or end of the week, rather into the weekend. And that cold is going to stay nearby, it looks like. So we might have a couple blasts of some cold here in February that we haven't been seeing. This is the American model past days 10. So in the real extended period, it's not very accurate then, but it does bring in another blast of cold maybe uh, towards Valentine's Day or just after. So we might be dealing with some actual colder temperatures. This is the European model. You can see the cliff drop here, single digit highs by the weekend, sub zero for the first time since December. We've only seen two mornings below zero so far this season, but enjoy uh, the mild temperatures. Meanwhile, maybe just shy of 30 today. I think we do see some sunshine later in the afternoon breaking out uh, and then around 30 tomorrow above freezing Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see that snow develop early Thursday, should be done sometime Thursday night, and then a blast of that cold Friday sunshine, but uh, some Arctic air and just single digit highs Saturday. Looks like our coldest air we've seen so far this season coming in for next week. And about a quarter of the time, February's around here are colder than January. Most often January is the coldest month, but sometimes February is colder. It may just be the case this year.